Pile one, welcome to your guys's reading all about does the person on your mind miss you? Why or why not? So I'm going to be extremely honest in this reading. So if you do not like what I have to say, I just want to go ahead and apologize right now because I do not want to sugarcoat anything. I'm going to be giving you exactly what I hear from spirit about this person's feelings and intentions towards you, pile one. Um, so I just wanted to put out that disclaimer before I go ahead and get started because there are some people that are sensitive. I don't know what's going to be coming out, but I am kind of getting an idea of how this person is feeling, but we'll see how it goes. But just people that get easily triggered, you've been forewarned, I'm not going to hold back. Um, but pile one, I'm going to be really honest here. This person, yes, so this person does miss you. I'm getting that this person wants some form of reconciliation or a commitment here, but I almost feel like they're giving you some sort of uh, mental mind games. I'm even hearing that they want to toughen you up or they want to teach you a lesson because with this tough love card here, this is making me think that they may actually be acting pretty cold. They may be acting like purposefully mean or purposefully distant. May they may even be like avoiding your phone calls or there's like no warmth or love in their intentions. So for example, let's just say this is like your boyfriend or your girlfriend and you guys got into a heated argument and you guys are not wanting to apologize to each other and so this person would be going out of their way to make it to make you know that they're not happy with you by either ignoring you or if you guys do have to interact it's very cold it's very short it's very like not emotionally connected. There's no warmth in their voice, right? You can tell that they're upset with you. So that's the energy that I'm getting from this person is ultimately this person still cares about you. They still love you, but it does seem like they have either their guard up or they have some sort of boundaries up with you or they're straight up just not being very nice to you. I'm kind of getting that. They're, they're trying to like, I keep hearing they want to teach you a lesson. So it's almost like they're kind of in this like petty kind of vengeful energy where, um, oh yeah, you're going to do this to me. Well, I'm going to like make it 10 times worse, like that type of vibe. So <laughs> I don't really know what's going on between you and this person, but the only reason why they're acting that this way is because of their ego and because they do care about you so much. But there's almost this vibe that I'm, I'm getting from your connection where they may be trying to prove to you that they're in the right and you're in the wrong or they're trying to show you how not to be towards them. Like, I, I feel like they're trying to prove a point to you. And I think that they're actually waiting for you to break this no contact or for you to crack or for you to apologize. Like, it's almost like they're expecting you to take action. They're waiting for you to do something about it. So... However that applies for you or whatever you want to do about this situation, that's what I'm getting so far. So let's go ahead and get some more details about why this person may be acting this way. We can see, let's see what their current feelings are towards you and then we'll look at their intentions and then we'll see their next actions. So let's see their feelings for you right now. If we can get, okay, I dropped a tarot card. If we can get any more details for you. Okay, so their feelings for you is again, there's another reference to the hand. So there's an ace of pentacles for their feelings. So they want some sort of new sense of commitment here. Um, I'm hearing this as they want to start over. They want to feel like, again, I don't know why I'm seeing this, but it's like they want you to make an offer towards them or vice versa. This is like, I want to have some sort of forgiveness. Like usually the pentacles doesn't really make me think of like emotional 
forgiveness or emotional feelings, but I feel like this is like the Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups. Like they want something to happen because when I see Pentacles, this is like, this is evidence of something. They want you to show them. Again, I keep getting this as validation or proof. They want you to show them that you're sorry or they want you to show them that they could put in the effort because on their end I think they want to make a gesture they want to reach out they want to give you this commitment um, or you know start over on whatever this is but they're almost waiting for you to maybe let your own guard down they may be waiting for you to soften up or be more vulnerable or you know give them almost like the okay it's safe for them to reach out i'm getting really heavy leo placements in my mind right now so i'm getting like cancer or leo because in my personal opinion no offense to the leos or to the cancers um you know both of them kind of have very soft egos and for me it's all about this is what i believe and i believe that leos and cancers they are the most sensitive of all the signs um and they can get their egos easily bruised and most of the time they tend to want to protect their heart. So I feel like this person is trying to protect their feelings by acting cold or by acting detached or by acting distant with you. But they're kind of waiting for you to physically give them that sign like it's okay for them to approach you. Um, you know, I am getting that they do have their ego up and they want their ego to feel like it's fed and validated, but I feel like in private they would let their guard down if you were to give them a sign of it's okay for us to make up or I, I don't know, I keep I keep getting this like instance where they feel like you have their your guard up, so they feel like they have to have their guard up. Like they're almost kind of like mirroring your energy, so they're kind of waiting for you to put your guard down. I'm really channeling that for you. So let's go ahead and see what their intentions are. So that's how they're feeling in the moment right now. What are their current intentions towards you? So <laughs> as I said that, we got the Leo symbol or the strength card. So their intentions are, again, this is all about the ego pile one. They are holding back. So their intentions is, I'm going to hold back. I'm going to have my ego up. I'm going to stay strong. But again, they want this. How they feel is they want this commitment, but their intentions are is I'm not going to be the one that gives up easily. Um, they want to be seen as that person that's that looks strong, that keeps their word, that you know isn't going to just give in. They're not just going to be giving in to their desires, giving in to their temptations. And look at the bottom of the deck, you guys, the Five of Swords. So this is definitely out of greed, out of selfishness, like... Again, this is mind game energy. Do you see how this guy's smiling? Like, I won the fight. And then he lost those two people, right? These two people are upset and they're grieving. They're like, I give up. I don't want to play this game with you because you're not fighting fair or you care too much about the competition. So this person could have really strong jealousy issues as well. I'm getting that also where this guy may even be, it may be a woman, I don't know. This person may be the type of person where, again, they like to put on a show, they like to make it seem like they're doing great and that everything's fine, but maybe internally they're actually suffering, but they would never want you to know that because, again, they don't want to seem like they're the ones that are going through a struggle. They want to seem like they're put together and that they have good things going on for them. So it's really making me think of very flashy energy, very I'm in my power, I'm in my element. They don't let their vulnerabilities show that often. Um, so their intentions towards you is again, I really feel like and look at the card that I just pulled the five of pentacles. They are feeling very insecure. This person struggles with feelings of maybe even abandonment. This person may be dealing with a hurt or wounded ego. Regardless if this is what you're doing to them or even just in the past, I feel like they put their defenses up because they don't want to feel like this again. Um, so their intentions right now is, again, I really feel like they're not going to be letting you know how they actually truly feel until you give them this sense of like even like warmth or re like reception energy or again I really feel like you have to be the one that takes the initiative or you say sorry first and then they'll say sorry after you say sorry but it's like they're not going to be putting down their ego for anyone it really doesn't look like this like 
to me, it seems like you have to be the one that takes initiative. So you do what feels right for you. But if I'm saying this and you're like, I don't want to do that. Like I've been doing this all this whole time in this whole relationship, like they should apologize to me. Um, then stick with that, right? Just because I'm telling you what they're expecting of you doesn't mean that that's the right, <clears throat> sorry, I'm losing my voice. It doesn't mean that's the right thing to do. And did you hear how my voice was starting to cut out from me telling you to listen to your own intuition? I feel like this person, I'm telling you, even with this too, do you see how the voice is like being shut by the angel? I really feel that this person doesn't want you to I keep hearing abandon them I'm telling you this person has some abandonment issues I, I feel like this person is so worried about you getting sick of this or leaving them or feeling vulnerable but it's like their ego they have such a big ego and there's so much in their pride that even though they're so afraid of this connection just going away they won't put their pride down to come and say sorry or to try and make this work with you or to even just reach out and see how you're doing. I don't know what's going on in your guys' lives, but it's like they're so afraid of this connection being lost, but it's like they're not brave enough to do anything about it. And so they're hoping that they can like manifest you to do it or they can make you jealous enough that you'll like feel some type of way to want to come towards them again it's really like mental mind games mental mind game gymnastics I'm totally getting this for this person like I feel like they have some growing up to do and I feel like the reason why I was losing my voice is they don't want me to tell you to listen to your intuition because I also I'm just channeling a lot right now for you pal one but the other reason why they are also playing these mind games is it's almost like a, a way to prove your love for them. They they may have a lot of fire placements in their birth chart regardless of them being a Leo, Sun, Moon, or Rising, but I kind of get that they they kind of get a kick out of the drama. They they need passion. They need like public dis displays of drama or passion or romance. Like for you to get jealous or for you to react a certain way it almost feeds their ego, but it's almost like proof to them that you care. So if you were to not do these things, it would show them that you don't care. So I don't know why this person's like that. It may be because of like a family thing, or maybe they've had past relationships where they were the ones that were like the chaser and they were in a, a runner chaser dynamic, but it's like they, this is what they expect out of love. They think this is normal when it comes to love and if you were to walk away and act like you don't care um it would crush them but it would also be like they, it would confuse them as well because i don't know it's like a very toxic dynamic that they're used to and they want you to be entertained by this they want you to entertain their toxicity um i'm sorry i'm calling this person out but i'm that's what i'm really channeling for you is this person has some learned behaviors that are not healthy and they're thinking that they're going to be you know entertaining you with these unhealthy behaviors and that you're just going to kind of like you know go with the flow on what they're doing you're going to play this game with them but it really depends on what you do right some people may some people won't but anyway let's go ahead and see what their next actions are towards you pal one what are their next actions towards you so we got the tower card as their next actions towards you. So this is pretty extreme. Um, again, this is like all about the dramatics, okay? Um, oh man, okay, I might need to clarify the tower because when I see that, that's like an upheaval. Um, this is like, this could even be like getting rid of people. I'm just seeing this as a very extreme and dramatic behavior. Like they're throwing a tantrum. I don't know what you're doing to this person, pile one, but they feel like they're losing control. Because even with the strength card, this is making me think that they're trying to like put up such a heavy guard. I think this person is going to lose their cool. I'm really sensing that. Um, clarify more in the tower, please, spirit. I feel like this person's going to be losing their mind almost. And I just dropped a tarot card. We got the three of wands in reverse. So I'm hearing that something is not going as planned. You know what I'm really hearing from my spirit guides for this person, pal one? Um, when I see the tower card, I'm seeing this person, when they get upset, they kind of go to the extremes. 
So what they do is you're like, oh yeah, you're going to ignore me or, oh, you're going to do this to me. Well, I'm going to get rid of you first. And so I'm actually seeing that they may block you. They may ghost you. They may like, they, they're doing this extreme upheaval of something where they're completely demolishing something, completely ghosting, completely just extreme cutoff game, right? But with the three of wands, usually this would be progress. This would be moving away, moving forward. They may be acting really extreme, but I feel like it's not going as planned or they're going to be making these extreme choices and it's going to be kind of impulsive and kind of getting the, get in the heat of the moment, pal, one, where they're not thinking rationally. They just kind of think with their emotion and then they take action on it when they're in the heat of the moment. But with that three of wands in reverse, it's making me think that they're not going to be able to move on. Um, they're going to still be stuck on you or stuck on the problem at hand. And look at the bottom of the deck. We have temperance. So they are still hoping, like even after them reacting in this fit, right? Them being extreme and maybe even cutting you out of their life permanently. They're still hoping for some sort of like reconciliation or apology or forgiveness. Like, I don't think this person, even though they're acting this way, they're still hoping that something can be fixed in this connection. Um, so again, I, I don't really know what to say about this person for you, Pile One, because I really feel like a lot of the habits and the things that they're doing, it's, it's taught to them. They may have had a really troubled home life. Um, this may have been behavior that, again, maybe they were put through, through ex-boyfriends or ex-girlfriends or their own family. Um, but I keep hearing that they have an abandonment issue wound, and so they're almost like rejecting you before you can hurt them, right? They're hurting you before they get hurt. Um, it's like they're keeping you at an arm's distance, an arm's length, pushing you away, praying and hoping that them pushing you away will want you to chase them. But I'm kind of getting it's actually doing the opposite. I think, you know, I know I, I, I might not be right, but I'm really channeling for you that when you guys first met or first connected, this could have been a dynamic where maybe both of you were chasing and running from each other, but there's something about someone in this connection doesn't want to be a part of that anymore, and I'm really feeling that it's you. And for some reason, it's making this person freak out. Um, I'm just, I'm getting this as a very unhealthy, there's something very unhealthy about this, and I think the reason why this person is freaking out so much is I think you're changing. I'm really getting that. I think you are wanting something more stable. You're wanting something that is more secure. Um, yeah, I'm going to clarify. I'm going to see what's going on here with you because I feel like there's a message here regarding you. What are you wanting out of this connection? I want to see what's going on with you because I feel like this is something that you're changing because I can sense it. Um, what you used to have with this person, it's like no longer satisfactory for you. So we got fulfillment and we got assertion. So when we look at the planet Saturn in our birth chart, um, this is like our wake up call in life. This is also where we feel the most critical and the most limited, um, of ourselves. But also Saturn is that planet where we don't really truly activate it until our Saturn return. And we have like several Saturn returns. So our first Saturn return usually happens around like 27, 28 through your 30s. It's like 27, 28. And then like the cutoff is like 30 or 31 years old. It's like it's like late 20s to early 30s is the peak. And that's your first Saturn return. And I know when I went through my Saturn return, I have mine in the 10th house in Aquarius. Um, it really put into perspective for me what I wanted my long-term legacy to be, what I wanted to be known for, um, how people publicly recognized me. Like I completely did a huge job change. I lost a lot of friends. Like I, I kind of did like a, a redo on my life. And with you, you may be going through your own Saturn return or possibly you're just feeling this sense of what do, how do I view my life? Because when you think of the ninth house, this is like all about your worldview lens. This can talk about your personal beliefs, how you move through life, like your, your growth, right? And so I feel like you're going through this period in your life, pile one, where 
you are expanding your mind. Like what you used to find comfort in, what you used to believe in, what used to make sense to you is changing. It's going through this this really big interchange where maybe you're really focusing on, you know, your long-term stability when it comes to your career, your money, how you feel stable. You want growth. And I think the growth that you want in your life is personal growth. Um, and so you may even be going down this spiritual road where, again, it's really making you wake up. It's making you mature. It's making you, it's teaching you how to become more grounded and teaching you how to um, level up and how to be, maybe you want to be more respectable. There's something about how you want to grow up. That's, I'm really getting that. So however you define that to be pile one. Um, and with the sun and Aries in the first house, there's something about how this relationship that you were in with this person, I feel like it might, it may have even been stifling your growth, or maybe you feel like the ways that you used to view this connection have dramatically changed. And there's something about how I'm seeing this as you fighting off your demons. Like, I feel like this connection was very combative. Um, it doesn't have to be physical, but there's something about it where it was very competitive. It was very combative. And there's almost something about how you are ready to, you know, stick up for yourself. You're ready to be more assertive. You're ready to kind of like step into your power because it feels like this connection really made you feel powerless at times. It made you feel weak. It made you feel like you didn't really know if you had any willpower or even just assertion, right? It seems like this person kind of held most of the control or most of the power in this connection. And there's something about how you're waking up to something different, like you have different goals on what you view connections to be. Um, you're realizing that the way that this connection is no longer suits your lifestyle or it doesn't really fit your personal beliefs or possibly you feel like you're intellectually just learning a lot more. Maybe you're realizing that this connection isn't healthy or maybe you've outgrown this connection. Um, that's what it's really making me feel like for you. It feels like you've kind of expanded and moved on and you guys may be at two different um, points of your life and there's nothing wrong with that. But it seems like the mental mind games that this person may have put you through in the past used to easily manipulate you and influence you, but it seems like you have matured or you've seen through it or you're coming at more of a, you know, I was just listening to this the other day, being able to observe but not absorb, right? That's something that I'm trying to teach myself is being able to observe um, my pain, my triggers, patterns, but having better boundaries up with, you know, how I feel and how I react in other people. So you may be observing this behavior, but you're no longer letting it absorb your life or cloud your judgment. And you may be seeing a lot of synchronicities as well as getting a lot of clarity as to why this relationship didn't work out in the first place. Um, so this is like really big epiphanies that I'm feeling that you're going to be having about this person. And again, you still may love this person, right? You still may really care about this person. Um, but you may be recognizing that you two are on different paths and it's, I'm not saying that this connection can never work out. Um, but I feel like you're ready for this person to step up. Like you're going to be maybe thinking or even maybe physically telling this person like, Hey, like if you want this connection to work, then you need to be the one that puts in some effort or you need to be the one that apologizes because this connection could work if the other person is receptive to wanting to work out the connection and fixing your problems with each other. And it, it does seem like the person that you're asking about wants that. But again, their intentions right now is they don't want to let their guard down. Um, so I want to see what the outcome of this connection is before I sign off for you guys. And I think I'm going to use this deck of index cards with words that I wrote down on it. So what is the outcome of this connection on pile one side? Okay, we got cocky for your side. What is the outcome of the connection for this person that pile one is asking about? So we got karmic and we got decisive moment. Okay, so I'm going to clarify with one more card for your side. And we got self-improvement era. Yep, I think you're going to be, again, cocky can be seen in two different ways. 
I think you're going to be getting some sort of ego boost. You're going to be feeling more confident in yourself where I think you're going to be recognizing that I deserve better. Um, you may be going through this period of your life where you are going through like a self-improvement era where you're doing the healing. You may be going to counseling. That could be something that could be really helpful for you. Um, but you're kind of just working on what you're trying to focus on what matters to you, what makes you feel good, where should you go to feel the most love? Like you're trying to find almost like fulfillment in your life. And maybe this relationship was really draining, but you're trying to focus on what brings you happiness and peace and not what brings you drama. And, you know, I'm hearing pessimism. So yeah, just you're trying to focus on what makes you feel good, right? Where do you feel loved? Where do you feel safe? Um, focusing on those things that could help you be better or improve in some sort of way. This person, the outcome of this connection, I think you two have a very karmic connection or there's something here about how there's something about this connection that feels very um, spiritually tied. Like you guys may have come together to learn some lessons through each other, but it seems like this person may actually be making a decision about what they should do regarding this connection. So you're kind of in your, I'm not going to really do anything. I'm just going to take a step back. This person's going to be making some sort of decision about whether or not they should step forward. So the outcome of the connection for you is you're just going to keep focusing on yourself. You're going to keep focusing on bettering yourself, living your life, you know, feeling healthy, feeling happy. And I'm seeing this person watching you from a distance, deciding whether or not what they should do. So let's see what they're going to do. Let's see what they're going to do. If I can get some King of Pentacles and then let's see what you're going to do. Yeah, Six of Swords for you. You are going to be moving on. Um, you're in a process of healing, closure. So I think you're you're going to be moving on from this connection. I, I'm just going to be quite honest here. I think you're kind of just over it. But I'm seeing this as, you know, there's no hard feelings here. You're just ready to move on. Um, okay, so this person is going to be really focusing on... Man, I'm I'm sorry, Pile One. I really feel like this person wants some sort of control. They want to feel powerful, but that might Nine of Pentacles here. It's like showing off. I don't know why I'm getting that. It's like they want to show that they're strong. They want to show that they're in their element. So honestly, yeah, again, the Six of Wands. I, you know what I'm really thinking they're going to do? I think they're just going to like be flashy. They're going to be trying to maybe even like trying to decide if I am publicly, you know, surrounded by other people. If I show off that I have more money, that I'm doing well. Like they're hoping that if they peacock around you, that you're going to, again, it's, it's like all mind games. I'm telling you, they're hoping that you're going to do something about it. But I think you're just going to be moving on. So what they're deciding on doing is to keep doing what they're doing and just try to show off and show that they're looking good, doing well. Um, they have other people that are noticing them. They may be publicly like saying that they're single and living a single life, if that resonates, um, that they're happy and healthy. But it's making me think that they're, again, peacocking. So yeah, let's one more card for their person. Okay, so what is that? Justice card? Okay, so there's going to be some sort of truth exposed, pile one, regarding this person. Because the justice card with the moon, that's making me think that this is almost karmic. There's like a consequence to an action. This is making me think that something's going to be exposed. I'm going to get whatever that is before I end your guys' reading. What is going to be exposed or what's going to be coming to light? What truth is going to be revealed? Reputation. I'm telling you guys. <laughs> I'm telling you guys, pile one. Their peacocking is going to be exposed. And I think... Okay, laid back. I, you know... <sighs> Perfectionist. This person is going to be exposed for trying to make themselves look better than they actually are. Um, they're going to be exposed that they're putting on a show. So I don't know if this person's going... Yeah, I'm seeing this as new. So I think you're going to be either witnessing this or seeing this through the grapevine. 
that this person is trying to appear better than they actually are, um, but they're not. So they're it, again, they're trying to get you to entertain them. But what I think you're gonna do is, I think you're gonna move on. I think you're gonna be over it at this point. Um, yeah, you're moving on from the past. I clarified the Six of Swords. You're going to be moving on from past memories. Um, they're gonna be kind of bittersweet still. Again, the Chariot. So yeah, you. I'm telling you, you're you are on to bigger and better things. You're over it. I don't think they're over it. They're just trying to put this public display of. I am over the situation. I'm doing good. But underneath the deck, they want you to come back. So again, you decide what you want to do about this situation, Pile 1. But regarding how they're currently feeling right now, it doesn't really seem like they want to break out of no contact. Or they're not going to be the ones willing to do anything about this situation. They're waiting for you to decide or waiting for you to take action. Um, but it seems like you are trying to heal and you're trying to gain control of your life and you should keep doing that because it seems like that's the right thing for you to do but pile one that's all that i have to say for you i hope that this was helpful and i will see all of you guys later bye pile two so you guys went ahead and chose this pile this is going to be your guys's reading all about does the person on your mind currently miss you why or why not so you know, I can't really get an indicate indicative of if they miss you or not, but very strongly, they're going to be coming in with some form of communication because they want to tell you the truth about something. I got that straight away. So if you're wondering if this person's going to be reaching out to you soon, maybe you've been feeling their energy or if this, you may even be asking yourself, like, should I move on? Is this relationship over? Like, I feel like nothing's happening I really need you guys to prepare yourself for some form of conversation or maybe even this could be clarity on something. There's something that feels unresolved and that's going to be resolved during the time that you're watching this. And it could be because maybe they're going to be showing you something or they're going to be talking to you about something or possibly someone is going to be coming to you wanting to talk to you about this person that you're asking about. But I'm getting this as like an exposure or a secret being told. I'm really seeing that like something's been purposefully hidden from you and when I saw the karma card when I first pulled this it made me think of the ace of swords and then I pulled this card following after that so this is like something that you've been very confused about um I feel like this person's energy is very heavily in your aura like this connection has been really bothering you. I'm hearing that. Like, it's been really heavy on your mind. You don't really know what's happening or what's going on between you and this person. Like, there's a lot of questions with this connection. And I'm seeing that you're going to be getting some sort of question resolved. There's going to be clarity. Um, and it's going to be because you're you're hearing something or you're seeing something or this person is going to be personally coming to you to explain something to you. And I'm seeing this as this is like a faded event. I don't know why I'm seeing this for you, but when I think of karma, um, it says you may be involved in a situation that requires justice or fairness. This feels like it was very unfair to you. Or I'm, I'm even hearing that this situation may have been cock blocked by, by God, by the universe. It wasn't the right time. So this almost feels like a divine timing factor or it was fated to be this way. Um... Yeah, I feel like you've been waiting for something to happen. You've been waiting for this conversation. You've been waiting to see. I keep hearing waiting to see results of something. So I want to clarify what's going on because I'm not really getting, does this person miss you or not? I'm just seeing this as some sort of conflict or questioning that you're wondering about. Like you're, you're waiting for some sort of either advancement or you're waiting for something to happen to give you clarity. I think you're questioning like, should I move on or should I keep holding on to this connection like you're confused um you're not sure which way to go if you should keep progressing if you should go back um yeah spirit guides please give me clarity on that because i'm not really i know this title of the reading is do they miss you um but i feel like there's something more to this than just them missing you or you missing them yeah there's something about how you're ready to go down a new path there's something new because i'm seeing this as a road Stepping off the ledge. Hold on. Let me... 
Ten of Cups and the King of Cups here. Something is about to be resolved and it's going to be in a way where it's almost like an emotional wish is what I'm hearing. You're going to be feeling very emotionally full, but there's something about how you need to take a risk. You need to take the plunge. You need to trust that you're on the right path. I really heard that for you. There's something about whatever this connection is involving that's really challenging your belief system. It's really challenging you like, why do I feel this way? I feel like I'm doing the wrong thing. Like, why am I questioning this person? Or th whatever this connection is, is making you very confused, not just with this person, but with your life. Because I almost feel like there's something that, you know, I really feel like your spirit guides brought this person in your life to begin with to have some sort of epiphany or shake up in your life. Um, this person was supposed to help you either bring your walls down or to make some dramatic changes in your life. And I think the reason why this connection is so hard on you right now is because I think you're seeing the aftermath of that or you're starting to recognize that this connection was supposed to do something that would... I'm hearing change your life. So I, again, I'm really getting, it's not really about the person. It's like this person was being used as either an obstacle or as like a wake up call to get you to do something different with yourself or doing something different with your life. Um, again, this feels like a karmic event or like a faded meeting. I know this isn't really talking about the person, but I feel like this is more focused on you and your journey. This is all about your journey and your, your growth. And the main thing that I do want to say for you, like the biggest thing that I think you're the most concerned about, I'm hearing that you and your loved ones are protected and safe, regardless of this connection. Um, you're really worried about your sense of security and stability, but also your overall long-term happiness. You really want to have that family life. You want to really want to feel like you have someone that you can live out your days with and if this is like a if this is non-romance related pile two i'm really seeing this as you just want to feel like you're safe you're protected you're happy that you have people that love you that ca that care about you that are going to be supportive of you and i'm hearing supportive of your decisions and i am seeing that that is coming for you if it's not already um i'm hearing that you're safe as you take this next step so Whatever this is involving with this person, whoever this person is that you're asking about, I think they're going to be, I think they're going to be taking a risk as well to come forward. So this person is going to be taking a risk towards you to come forward, to basically lay out their emotions. So I'm being told that I should shut up. I don't think I'm supposed to tell you if this person misses you or not, because it's more than that. Um... You clicking on this video is going to be confirmation that this person is going to be having a conversation with you or the answers that you're looking for, they're going to be revealed to you, but it's not going to be through me. It's going to be, wow, I'm just, I'm getting like this heavy sensation on my head. I, it's not going to be me. I'm just going to be the one confirming that answers are coming um, to kind of give you a heads up. But there's some sort of... Uh, I'm hearing there's going to be some sort of emotional conversation. I'm seeing this as you being able to finally get control back of your emotions after this conversation or after this epiphany. And you're going to be really focusing on your family. You're going to be really focusing on your long-term comfort. Um, you're going to be focusing on what makes you feel comfortable, what makes you feel safe rather than the riskiness of it all. Because I'm, I'm kind of getting that whatever this connection is involving, this person may have been like trying to influence you or maybe you felt influenced by this person. This connection with this person made you feel really shaky or it felt risky or it felt scary. And there's something here that you need to know about regarding this person or even just your own sense of self that you're going to be getting your power back in a situation um, I want to figure out more about this person. Why? I mean, I want to, I want to do a reading where I want to ask a question as to why this person has so much hold on you because I'm feeling that for you. Why does this person have such a strong hold on pile two? And I'm feeling like a, an emotional pull. Why is this person pulling on pile two's heartstrings so much? Why do they feel so influenced by this person? 
intuition. You guys have a psychic connection. Um, this person may even think about you a lot too. I feel like both of you guys think about each other a lot. There's something about how this is like a spiritual connection. This is a psychic connection. The reason why you can't, you know, maybe move on or let go or you feel so confused is I actually feel like this person could be thinking about you psychically a lot too, which is clouding your judgment. But there's also something about how, there's something else with your intuition. I want to clarify what that is. Protection. So there's another thing I want to say for you. You are being very psychically protected. I think the reason why you're feeling so confused is I'm hearing there's like, this person's trying to, wow, this is so weird. This person's trying to almost like open up a doorway or a portal. This is going to sound really woo-woo, so please just, you know, be patient with me, pile two. I'm getting this image in my mind of you being in your mind and someone's trying to like manifest a door where there shouldn't be a door for them to peek into your mind or peek into your intuition. Like I'm kind of getting that you are supposed to be protected. Like you're supposed to be doing your own thing and this person's trying to get a peek into your life. So maybe they may even be getting a lot of readings done on you if they believe in that. Um, they may be trying to manifest you, but I'm getting that you yourself wouldn't be feeling so strongly if it wasn't because of the influence of this person. Like it's making me think that this is you with your kids. Like there's a lot of references to family and kids. So this person could know that you, this could be, okay, I'm going to be honest. This could be like a third party situation here and it doesn't have to be love, but this, this could even be a person that's trying to like get involved in your, in your relationship affairs or getting involved in your family or in your work or in your business. It feels like this person's trying to intrude in your life in a way. I know that sounds kind of messed up, but I feel like you're, you would normally be focused on doing your own thing. It's like this person's lurking in your energy. I'm really getting that. So this person is lurking in your energy and I think you can feel it. You can sense it. You can sense that someone is tapping into your energy, which is why it's making you feel so strongly pulled to this person because normally you would be blocked off. There's a reason why, you know, I'm hearing that your spirit guides are very protective of you and they would normally ward off people from being able to do this. But there's a reason as to why they're letting this person lurk in your energy. They can't fully get into your energy, but it's like spirit is not kicking this person all the way out. It's like they let them get to the gate so that they can look at the door. I don't know what this is. It's like your spirit guides usually would be very cutthroat about intruders, but for some reason there's a there's like a lesson to be learned for this person to be lurking in your energy. And for example, this person could be, if it's not like, if this is too woo-woo, this could even be like someone stalking you on your social media or this person is like trying to find ways to, I'm hearing stalker, honestly, pile two. So this person's trying to like see what you're doing, maybe asking people that you know, asking what you're up to. Like this person's really trying to get like tabs on you. Um, and I think you can pick it up psychically. But there's a reason why your spirit guides are allowing this to happen. And I want to see what that is about because I, I'm telling you, there's something more besides, does this person miss you? I'm just going to say, I think they are not just missing you. I think they're almost obsessed with you. Like this is intense. This is too intense for someone to just be missing you. Like this person is like literally psychically up your butt. Like it's intense. It, I'm just, I keep hearing it's very intense, right? Um, wow. I just, I don't even know. I feel almost uncomfortable. Um, like it feels like that's how uncomfortable I'm feeling. It feels like they're all up in my business. Like, <laughs> just like bro, chill, you know? Um, I want to get why your spirit guides are allowing this person to be up in your energy. Two of wands. The Wheel of Fortune. What is going on here? You are about to be faced with a really big decision, Pile 2. They're trying to... Yeah, I think why, the reason why they're allowing this person to lurk in your energy is... I'm seeing this as like daydream energy. Like you're, you're thinking about what else is out there. I think your spirit guides are wanting you to make big changes in your life. Which is why this person is 
in your energy. Because for some reason, this person in your energy is making you, maybe this person's making you feel uncomfortable. Maybe, maybe they're wanting you to change your scenery or change your environment. And so they're allowing this person to be in your energy so that you feel called to make a change in where you're living or where you're working. Um, they may want you to explore something. There's something about how the reason why they're letting this person lurk in your energy is to make you either uncomfortable or make you question like what else is out there. Um, they're trying to get you to broaden your horizons and make some really big changes that could alter your life path. That's the biggest reason why this person was brought to you in the first place. And whatever these changes... Sorry, I'm losing my voice. Whatever these changes are that you will be making, because of this person putting you... I'm seeing like putting you on a different... Um, wow, I'm seeing this as... It's almost like this person altered your 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 path that you're you're on it's like you're on a new path it's like a different life i don't know what the exact term is because i'm thinking of a word that's used and i cannot remember um a different timeline sorry it's like this person helped you move on to a different timeline where there's more possibilities for you there's there's like a different route that you can go down um there's a different way of getting something done in your life or doing something for yourself. There's something about like, wow, what is this? I feel like there's so much more. It's like whatever this person is, is meant to either be like, not like a distraction, but like a way for you to reroute yourself. Um, this was almost like a way for spirits, like the spirit guides wanted to use this person as a detour or as a reroute or using them as a way to push you in a new direction in your life, which is why, and look at what I just pulled, career changes. This could have been a change to your career. And underneath that was past version. So it's almost like your spirit guides are using this person to push you in a new direction in your life. Um, you may have actually started, you know, going down a path where maybe you want to change your the way that you make money. Maybe you want to do something completely different. Maybe you started going to school. Maybe you're wanting to travel somewhere else, like working in a different department. But there's something about how this person is helping you, in a way, move in a new direction in your life, which is why your spirit guides are allowing this person to be in your energy. But not only that, you're going to be looking different. I'm seeing this as you're going to be going through some sort of like change physically, your ideas and your world viewpoints are also going to be changing because of everything that's happening with this person. Um, but what's weird about it too is this person is also supposed to watch you go through these changes. It's very weird how this is all happening. Um, you're supposed to go through a very dramatic change in your life and this person has helped you get there, but this person is also supposed to watch you as you level up and as you evolve. Why is that? Why is this person supposed to watch that? Ghosting. Oh my god. Dating as well as abandoning, walking away. So this person is supposed to watch you level up because I think you're going to be moving away from this person. This is not a long-term connection, pal, too. This is like a... I've said this in another video that I recently just made. Um, they're almost like one of those signs that you see the billboards on the side of the road when you're driving on the freeway. They're supposed to get your attention. They're supposed to help, like, get you thinking about things on what you want to do to change your life, but they're not permanent in your life. They're, they're almost like either distractions or alerts or, you know, rerouting. They're, they're kind of temporarily in your life to help you elevate in some sort of way. And I'm seeing that this person may also be helping you with your love life, like trying to get you on board with, you know, commitment or marriage or that type of thing. Um, but the reason why they're going to be watching this, the reason why they're having to watch this is I think they're supposed to be walking away from something when it came to their love life. Maybe they're supposed to be ghosted by you. They're, there's a lesson that they're learning regarding love and relationships and walking away from something regarding that. Um, Another thing that I heard too is again, strength and courage. This is going to be teaching them boundaries. It's going to be teaching them um, those hard, difficult lessons. I'm really hearing that. So they're going to be kind of like, they're going to be kind of getting the worst of it. I'm not going to lie. I'm not trying to say that to be 
cruel or to be mean pile too, but there, yeah, we're getting disappointment here, but we also got excitement. So there's something about how they're going to be going through some sort of five of cups energy watching you. Um, they're going to be disappointed with how things didn't work out with you, but it's supposed to help them move in a different direction for themselves. This is going to be teaching them the strength and the courage that they need to go on their own new path. So again, and also authenticity is here too. It's going to be teaching them how to be real, how to be more of themselves, being strong enough to put on a brave face. I think this person puts on a public persona. That's something that they're going to be learning to walk away from is to be real, make choices that feel good for them. Um, no longer, again, the whole reading is about honesty, clarity, justice coming to you. And maybe this is what this person is learning is learning how to be truthful, learning how to not be a coward, learning how to be authentic. And maybe it's because they're already watching you do that, just that, right? Um, so yeah, that's what I'm hearing for this connection. Very interesting how this kind of all played out. I want to see on, I did this for the last pile. Let's see for your energy. What is the outcome regarding this situation going to be for you? And then we're going to be seeing the outcome for them. So how are you going to be feeling regarding this connection, the outcome for you? Um, okay, so you got the three of swords. So let's see on their end. How are they going to be feeling? They got the magician. Let's clarify with another card to see what is going on here. How are you going to be feeling about this connection? Inspiration. Oh, wow. So this heartbreak, this disappointment that this person's going to be causing you is going to be the inspiration of you changing your life. I'm telling you, there's something about how you're going to be going through almost like a glow up pile too. Um, you're going to be really changing your life. I'm really seeing that. And it's because of a betrayal, a disappointment, or something that this person may have said to you that may have hurt you. Um, something about their actions or the way that they treated you is making you feel upset, but it's like you're transmuting that pain and literally turning it in a way to benefit you. So, for example, if you are an artist or a content creator like I am, you could be using this as a muse, right? Using your pain as a way to make content out of it. Um, so that's just an example. And some people that go through periods of pain and trauma, they don't want to just stay at home and grieve. They want to go back to work and distract themselves and work hard on what they're doing as a way to, again, they can make their money, but it's a good distraction. So it could be something like that as well, where you may be taking on more shifts at your job. You may be motivated to, you know, work out at the gym or eat cleaner, like that revenge body, right? Um, it's almost like the pain is making you want to focus on you yourself leveling up. So in a way, it's actually benefiting you. For this person, um, I'm a little concerned for them because when I see the magician, I'm hearing an old dog's old trick. So it's like this person's going to be trying to, I'm hearing manipulate. What is going on here? This person's going to be, I don't like this energy at all. And the reason why is because I feel like they're they're wanting to start some sort of fight or some sort of... They're trying to fight against something. Submission and assertion. This person's not going to be happy with how things are going. And there's something about how they're going to be trying to... I think they're going to be shushed. I don't know why I'm hearing that. So initially, they're going to be trying to fight back against some sort of corporation or authority. It could be you. I don't know. But I feel like there's other people involved. And there's something about how they may try to manipulate the the gossip surrounding it. Or there's going to be pettiness involved. There may be drama involved. Um, they may be having to fight other people off. Like, you know, verbally, mentally. There's something about how... They feel like they're going to be on guard. There's going to be a lot of drama surrounding what's going on with them. I don't really know why that is. And it has something to do with maybe them not following some sort of code. Because I'm seeing principle as this is how things are supposed to be. And they're trying to fight against that. Um, and it almost feels like this is something that could be government ruled. Or this could be if it's a career. It's like HR, paperwork. Um, but overall, they're going to have to submit to whatever this is because they're not going to be able to manipulate or get their way 
concerning this connection like it's almost like they're trying to put out like a narrative or they're trying to make it seem like they're doing something when they're not like they're trying to manipulate other people or you or just the whatever situation this is they're trying to make it seem like it's they have the power but it doesn't really feel like it's going to go that way they're going to have to submit to what's happening they're not going to be able to convince or sway the narrative that they're the ones that are I don't know how this is going to resonate, but it just seems like whatever narrative, whatever they say, whatever they try to do that makes them look better or makes them look like they're in the right or that they have the power, it's not going to work out for them. Um, and I'm actually seeing that they're going to have to fight for their... They're going to be fighting for something. I want to see what that is because I'm seeing them fighting off their predators or their enemies or people are going to be trying to like almost like clap back at them. What is this? What are they going to be fighting off? There's some sort of like news or excitement or there's something that they feel like called to do or feel called to say. But do you see how there's judgment here? They're going to be judged for it. Like it's almost like whatever they want to say, whatever they're trying to put, put out there or portray publicly, it's not going to be going very well. So... I don't really know what that's going to be for everyone here, but whatever they're trying to do, it's not going to be going the way that they want it to be. And it actually may be ridiculed by others. Other people may be making them feel bad about it. They may actually have to get like some sort of wake up call because of this. So, um, yeah, I don't know. Um, <laughs> one last message. What is one thing that you need to know about this person and this connection before I end your guys' reading? exes so if you guys are exes this is like a confirmation that you guys are exes for a reason there could be you know exes involved in this connection or you guys are going to be excommunicating hiding concealing they also could be hiding that they're dealing with an ex if this is like a we got flirting here too so this is like secrets this is lies i i don't get a good vibe from this connection uh pile two i'm not gonna lie um, so I would just, you know, I would just kind of hold back on sending a message. I would just not do anything, honestly. I would just wait for things to play out the way that they're meant to because there's something that the, the universe wants to reveal to you about this person and this connection that I think is being hidden from you right now and it's for a reason. Um, and you will, th this will be shown to you. So if you're wondering, like, does this person miss me? Like, am I crazy? Why do I feel this way? Um, you are going to be seeing some sort of answer soon. Let's see when this is going to all play down or play out for you. When are you going to be getting your answers regarding this person? So Libra season, which again is also karma, justice. So this could be around um, September, October. But I want to clarify with a number here. What month? So this could be around January, so the first of the year. So if you're watching this, this could be from even from like fall to winter time. That could be when this is all revealed to you or this could be revealed to you around January or September, October. So fall, winter time frame. But pile two, that's all that I have to say for you. I hope that this was helpful and I'll see all of you guys in the next one. Bye. Okay, so pile three, you guys went ahead and chose this picture this is going to be your guys's pick a card reading about does this person miss you why or why not and for the first pile i did have a disclaimer about whether or not you know this may be triggering um i'm going to be very blunt and honest and give you straight up what i see so if you get easily offended or your feelings get hurt i'm just going to warn you right now i don't know how this reading is going to be looking but i can kind of get in general idea based on these two cards and I just wanted to say real quick that disclaimer because this may be a hard one to hear okay so I'm kind of hearing that if you are in like a friends with benefits type situation with this person I'm kind of getting this is like a very romantic or sexual type connection and if this is not someone that you are sleeping with or someone that you're romantically interested in um, I'm kind of seeing this if this was like a friend or a parent relationship, or even like a coworker, it's just, it's really unhealthy. There's like boundaries that are definitely being crossed in this connection. So how they feel about you, do they miss you? Um, 
Yes, but not for the way that you probably want them to. So when I see the endings in beginnings card, the eighth house, this is like intimacy. Like you may have shared some sort of secrets or it was a very close connection. There's may have even been some like obsessive tendencies here. But with that snake card, um, again, that can point to, you know, someone being deceptive, someone being a little bit sneaky, but also this can be, you know, a, a connection where you may have a lot of falling outs. There, there's something about how there's a change that keeps happening in the connection where all in, all out, up, down, like there's a continuous cycle of this connection ending and then starting up again, or it feels like it's certain and you know where you stand with this person and then it kind of ends again. Like, it, it just seems like a cycle. This connection doesn't really seem like it ever truly progresses. It kind of like goes up and down, but it never just stays the same. I'm really channeling that for you. And underneath the deck that I was going to be shuffling, it does say lovers. So it says there are two paths ahead. Be true to yourself. So it kind of seems to me that in this moment, if this is someone that you are romantically interested in, they actually may be thinking about another connection that they would rather put their energy into. I'm kind of getting that if it's not even a specific person, they have other options. They may even be treating you like an option, Pile 3. I just want to be completely upfront and honest here with you. Um, I'm also getting if this is someone that you're romantically interested in, they may just miss you for the physical aspect of it. Um, I'm kind of getting like, this is like a temptation. So there's something about you and this person that's very tempting to this person, but I'm kind of getting that it may be for either like material aspects. It may be because um, there's like some sort of, even here like a trauma bond for some of you guys, this could be sex related. Maybe there's some history here because I'm seeing this as history. You guys may even have like a past life together so it's pro probably really hard for you guys to move on from each other but it just seems like you try to move on from each other and then they pop back in your life and it's like this continuous cycle of like on again off again you can't fully move on i'm really getting that it's like you can't truly ever fully move on from this person and underneath that lover's card it literally says beware be careful who you trust at this time but also the snake card says your intuition and healing powers will guide you to a better path. Just be careful. I think, you know, I think you're being warned by your spirit guides that this person does miss you, okay? Um, but they want to warn you that you will be repeating a cycle if you were to go back or if you were to entertain this person. Um, this person seems like they're going to hold you back in some sort of way. Uh... Let's get some clarity on why, because I, I don't want to say this person's a bad person, because that's not what I want to say, but it just seems like you and this person are on different pages. It, that's what it seems like to me. Like, they, I think you guys like each other's company, but there's something about how you guys want different things out of this relationship, or maybe this person, we've been hearing... This person may lie to you about certain things. I want to go, I want to see what's going on here. Um, I want to see why you guys may be having a problem moving on from each other, but I'm also getting there's something that they could be either not being fully clean with you about, or they could be lying to you about this. I want to see what's going on here. So let's see why you and this person never seem to work out. I'm going to clarify that with some cards here. Why does a uh, pile threes person and them, why do they never work out? Why does this keep repeating in their life? So we got revenge here, all right? So that's for why you guys can never make it work out. Um, underneath the deck, it was seduction. So yeah, there's like some possession issues, some jealousy issues I'm getting here. Um, let's go ahead and pull a card to see what they could be lying to you about or not being completely honest about because I am picking that up for you and it may not be something that they're intentionally doing but they're not telling you the truth and we got bluff so yeah they're definitely they're definitely not being honest to you about something or they're trying to make something seem like it's better than it is or they're trying to be on your good side about something like they're trying to basically tell you what you want to hear um what is, what is that talking about? 
fortune. So they could be talking to you about how they have more money than maybe what they're saying. Or maybe if you guys were to get together that you would have this life that would be really passionate and really fun. Like it's kind of giving me non-committal energy or the reason why they're lying to you or they're making it seem like it's better than it is is because there's like a lack of something. I'm even feeling for some of you guys, this person may be trying to make it so that they can sweep you off your feet. They're going to be making an offer or they want to make an offer towards you that seems almost too good to be true. And you need to trust yourself because I actually feel like it is too good to be true. Um, they're trying to emphasize something or dramatize something to get you to come back or to get you to choose them because I don't know who it is but I'm seeing that there's someone in this connection that has another offer or they just have other options in general and I even feel like the reason why this connection is never fully finished is because you guys try to make each other uh, jealous or you try to show them like I'm doing better without you it's like very toxic it really seems very toxic to me because we got the revenge in the seduction card it's like you and this person can never truly let each other go because you're always trying to one-up each other um and if this is not a romantic connection if this was like a friendship okay it's like you and this friend are always trying to prove who's doing better like oh yeah i don't need you i have other friends like it's like very <sighs> peacocky right um so this connection is never going anywhere because I feel like both of you guys have a little bit of an ego. I'm just going to call it out right now. Um, I know you guys are probably going to get offended for me saying that, but it seems like you guys are, <laughs> look at the card that I just pulled, the devil card. You guys are trying to, maybe you guys are both putting on a bluff. I don't know, but it's like you guys can't be honest with each other. It just, it, it feels like games. It just feels like... You guys are on different pages because maybe one of you guys actually wants to get closer and the other person is seeing this as a game or you guys kind of like both back and forth go between wanting to make it work and wanting to just basically get one over on each other. It seems like you guys both are kind of like going back and forth between this energy of trying to one up the other person. Um, so that's what I'm getting so far on why this connection never seems to work out. I want to see, I want to see this person's feelings, intentions, and next actions towards you right now. I want to get some more info about this person. So how is this person currently feeling towards pile three? How is this person currently feeling towards pile three? So how they're feeling towards you is again, that King of Pentacles and money. There's something about how Again, they're trying to put on a good face. Like, they want to seem like they're respectable, they're responsible. Um, yeah, let me go ahead and clarify. What are their intentions? Four swords. What are their next actions? The devil card, again, for their next actions. Again, toxic behavior. I don't know if I'm going to be getting in trouble for having that devil card, so I'm going to clarify it with um, other cards so I can cover that picture. <laughs> Clarify the devil card, please. I'm just dropping cards left and right. Defense, all right. Um, these cards are just flying everywhere. Holy crap. All right, their intentions is patience. Their feelings, let's see. And resistance. Okay, so... <sighs> their feelings for you is I'm seeing this... I'm seeing this um, parrot as hearing something. Like, basically, there's, like, an imitation. There's, um, when you think of parrots, they, they're they basically copying someone else, but they're, they're the talkers, right? So they're going to be mimicking what was told to them. So their feelings are, is they're hearing something about you right now that's making them feel like they need to put their guard up. Um, I don't know what kind of gossip's going on about you or what they're hearing through the grapevine about you, pal pal three but something about what they're hearing about you it's making them feel wow i'm hearing hearing seeing red so it's almost like it's making them angry but it's also making them feel like they need to 
put up their guard with you. There's a lot of imagery of oxes and cows that I'm seeing. So they could have some heavy Taurus placements that I'm picking up for them. Um, so they could be a Taurus, Sun, Moon, or Rising. I am seeing that for this person. And when you think of Taurus placements, I love Taurus placements, but when they are upset or when they feel triggered, they feel like they need to physically control their environment, their situation. I wouldn't be surprised if this person feels very possessive over you. Even if you guys are no longer together, they still may feel like that they have a claim over you. It's very weird. Um... I'm just, I'm getting a really weird, like a jealous ex is the vibe that I'm getting. Even if the, you, you guys were friends or you guys used to work together, there's something about how it's almost like, well, this person was my friend first or, oh, this person was, you know, working with me first or it's like a, they feel like they have like ownership or something over you, which is really weird. Um... I don't know. That's just, it's really uncomfortable. I don't like that at all. So I'm seeing them get like upset or jealous or even angry about the fact of whatever this gossip is that they're hearing about regarding you. It's making them feel some sort of way about having, they need to have power over the situation. So I want to clarify what that is a little bit more because they feel like they need to like dominate something that feels like a possessive energy. Um, why are they feeling that way? The strength card. Yeah, they feel like they need to hold some sort of, like, power. There's, like, a power dynamic here. Um, I've even seen this as someone, like, shutting someone up. So they may even be getting mad at this person coming to them to report to them about you. They may be getting mad at this person, um, making them, like, not talk about you. They, I don't know what this is. You know... Whoever this person is that you're asking about, they may even be trying to move on themselves. And I think what's going on is, again, there's this situation between the two of you where you guys can't help but go back and forth. Like, maybe one of you decides, like, okay, I'm going to, like, move on and I'm going to focus on my own life or I'm going to move on when and meet someone new. Um, and then one of you guys decides to do that and then the other person that's involved doesn't like that and vice versa it keeps flip-flopping like a yo-yo like you guys both keep deciding I'm gonna move on but then the other person's like no no I want you back so it feels like this person may actually be trying to move on from you but they keep hearing information about you through other people which is making them feel triggered um and so they actually may be wanting to take action because they feel triggered because they feel like they're losing their power over you or their ownership. That's really weird. Um, that's basically, it's basically like not really an ego thing, but it's like the... I don't even know. I, I don't even really know what this is. It just, it seems very complex, pile three. It's very confusing because... I don't know why I keep getting this example in my mind either. So I just watched the movie Priscilla not that long ago. And it was like from Priscilla's point of view of her life and her marriage with Elvis. And Elvis was a Capricorn and he kind of had some similar placements where, or similar motives where he, he cheated on Priscilla throughout the whole, their whole marriage basically. Um, but there was a point where Priscilla was so devoted to Elvis and he just expected her to stay at home and take care of their kid and be basically be his beck and call while he was out you know um, doing movies and making music and sleeping around with other women right but he expected her to be at home at all times couldn't get a job couldn't work couldn't focus on her own life like basically her life had to be devoted to him when she started, you know, growing up and she was like, I want to find my own sense of identity, she started getting into karate lessons and she fell in love with her karate instructor and they had an affair. And obviously the news of that was going through the grapevine. And so there was a, obviously we don't know if this is true or not, but this is from Priscilla's account. Um, Priscilla, you know, they were kind of distant. They weren't really even like sleeping together anymore. But there was a point where he was asking for her to meet up with him and he tried to force himself on her and he was basically saying, I'm going to show you how a real man makes love to their woman or something like that, right? And basically it wasn't because of his love for her. It was to like basically show dominance because he was hearing that she was cheating on him and they're married, right? So he's like the principal of it all. Like 
you're my woman. It's like ownership, like claim over that person. So it's like a, it feels like almost like a legality or it feels like, I don't know how the, it's like the title of it, right? But it's not because of love. It's not because like, you know, I love you and I want to be with you. It's because of ownership. It's like possessiveness. That's the energy that I'm getting from this person. And I think both of you guys may exhibit these behaviors. It really feels like that. Um, their intentions towards you is they, again, there's something about how they kind of just want to hold back. Like, they're just going to be trying to wait out this energy. There, There's no action being taken here. So this person isn't really doing anything to make it shown that they miss you or that they love you or that they want to I don't even know if this is like a love, this feels like a love dynamic because there's so much passion and intense energy here. If this was not a love dynamic, I would be very surprised, but it, this could even be like a friendship that's just super intense. Like it's borderline almost like, it just, it feels like love and lust and just obsession. It feels very, very weird to me. Um, but this person their intentions is they don't want to do anything. Their intentions is, is they don't want to take any action. They want to rest. They just want to be in their own energy. Um, they are getting triggered by you right now, so I don't really know how long that's going to last, Pile 3. But for their actions towards you, again, do you see how we have defense and the devil? Um, they're going to fall to their temptations. They're going to fall into their seduction. They're going to be even falling into very manipulative behavior because they feel defensive and again for them to feel defensive and they may be feeling like they have a claim or an ownership to you or maybe they feel like you know they have to go after you or take action towards you because they feel like they're going to lose you so it's like their intention is, is they don't want anything to change nothing's gonna happen it's so weird like they may be making these really big advances towards you really trying to lay it on thick but their intentions is they want the relationship to stay the same um they don't want things to change they want things to kind of stay how they are but they also don't want you to leave at the same time and i'm hearing dictatorship in my head this is so weird this is such a weird reading that i'm getting i don't even know how to feel about this because it just seems very controlling um, they don't want to make anything really progress in whatever connection this is, but they still want to feel like you're, you're there and waiting for them. And if this is like a work dynamic, it's like, they don't want you to leave the company, but they don't want to like make you level up or have more power or it's like, they want you to keep them. They want to keep you in a space where they have their eyes on you. They know what you're up to, but they don't want anything else to happen. Um, like supervision. That's so weird. I want to see what your spirit guides, the advice that they have for you regarding this person because this seems really difficult, I'm not going to lie. What advice do you have for Pile 3 regarding this person and their connection? Okay, I'm just dropping cards today. Let's see. So we got the past. So there's something about the past that they want you to keep in mind. Um, what about the past? What do they need to know about this connection? crossroads so in the past you may have already been at a crossroads with this person and they want you to remember that so regardless if you guys were to get together or you were trying to make something work again it seems like this is a very repetitive cycle where you're going to be getting back to this ultimatum point of i feel like i need to do something different um so it seems like this is a pattern that isn't going to be changing whether or not you get with this person or you guys make promises to each other or if you put in the extra work and I'm even hearing some of you guys are like oh we can go to counseling and yeah that may help but it just seems like this person doesn't have any intentions about making the situation improve or to change like they want it to be the same they don't want anything to change in this dynamic so if you're wanting something different in this connection um, I don't think you're going to be getting what you want out of it because it seems like you're going to be facing the same dilemma with this person. Um, let's go ahead and get some more information or any other advice that your spirit guides have for you. We have dreams here, so let's go ahead and clarify what that is about. Again, it's really making me think of Priscilla. Like, I just I keep hearing this in my mind, like that movie, Bougie. 
So maybe the reason why you want to be with this person is because maybe there's promises of a a rich life. Like maybe you feel like you and this person would have an abundant life in your eyes or there's something about this connection that seems really, um, it's almost like a fantasy. Like there is something about this connection that keeps pulling you in. Um, there's like a promise of something. This is like something that you see that could be really good. But again, I'm keep hearing that bluff. Like there's something that you are seeing of this, of this person or this person is promising something in this connection that just looks so good. Like it's almost like this would be really good for me. This would be really good for us. Um, it, it almost feels like cloud nine, like a dream, right? This could even be like money or expense. I don't even know. Maybe this person likes to buy you things, but it could be something like, like that. Um, it could be like a promotion at your job if this is work related, but it seems like this person wants to make it look way bigger, way more expensive and way more beautiful than what it actually is. They're trying to almost like play into your temptations and the fantasy because they know what you like and they want to make sure that they can pull you in with the things that you know that you would fall for. Um, but again, I keep hearing that it's a bluff, that they're either over uh, dramatizing it or they're actually lying like completely. They're just trying to get you to come back. Um, yeah, let me see what else is going on here. I'm going to use another deck and see what else you need to know about this connection. New beginnings, directions, and adventures await for those um, await for those ready to let go of the past. So this is like really strong confirmation for you, Pile 3, that your spirit guides want you to move on. And that if you do move on, that there is a new beginning for you. Um, I think you're afraid that if you were to walk away from this person, that you may even be walking away from your dreams or from a rich abundant life or maybe you think this is something that will be really good for you or maybe you think this person could open the doors for you to a new life i'm really seeing that there's something about this person where you feel like they could promise you something or they could help you out in some sort of way and it could be like financial or it could be you know they have resources or access to something that you want and you're thinking that this person is going to be that solution or your key to whatever that is. Um, but I'm seeing that if you were to walk away from this person, that, you know, it would be better, right? We have the star here. So it says hard times are over. Look forward to an abundance of happiness, enthusiasm, and positivity. So your spirit guides are promising you that if you were to walk away, that your dreams, this, this life, this wish that you want for your life to be, this goal, right? This goal is not going to be casted away or forgotten. Um, I think your spirit guides are trying to get you to notice that this person's actually holding you back from this. Um, why is that? I'm seeing this as, why is this person holding, how is this person holding pile three back from their goals? Let's see what's going on with that. So we got the three of pentacles, we have the hangman, and we have the justice card. So it is making me think that they're promising about, this is making me think of like other people, like help from others. They could be telling you again, like I have resources, I have contacts, I have people that can help you. Or maybe they're like, for example, oh yeah, I have someone that's going to be, you know, paying me this amount of money or this person knows a guy that could help us out. It's like this person's waiting or telling you that they're waiting for someone to help them out or they have resources that could help you out, but it never goes anywhere. Um, it never, nothing ever really happens. And I think with this justice card, I think you're starting to see that you're kind of at a stalemate. Let me clarify that justice card. Oops. And I just dropped another tarot card. We got the judgment card. There's some sort of awakening when it comes to maybe you maybe you want to get married. Maybe this is what this is talking about. There's something about marriage or the law or the government that's like, I don't know what this is. Maybe this person is already married. Oh my God. Maybe that's what is going on here. Maybe this person is holding you back from like having marriage if that's something that you want. If this is not love related pile three, I'm seeing that there's something legally that they're holding you back from attaining. There's some sort of like big change or a contract or co a commitment that you want in your life that they're not able to give you. 
And I think you're also being called by your spirit guides that now is the time to wake up to that. Um, so do they miss you? Well, yeah, it seems like they... <laughs> I don't know if they miss you, miss you. It's, it's weird. It's very complex. I think they're going to be triggered and they're going to try to reel you back in. Um, but I don't think it's for the reasons that you're hoping it to be, Pile 3. I'm just going to be honest. And again, I just pulled another card and we got caution. So this is like red flags everywhere, in my opinion. Your spirit guys are really trying to show you the signs. Like, this is not good. This is very toxic. Um, what is one last message that you need to hear before I sign off for you? One last message. Longing. Intense. Yeah, it's very intense. Stalker. So, yeah, you're going to be feeling this intense longing for this person. This person is kind of a stalker. I, I feel like this is someone that, you know, is always going to try and see what you're up to, see what you're doing. Um, money and finances are coming up here. Okay, so when it comes to money and finances, if you are looking for someone that, you know, could offer you support or they could help you find a new job or help you make more money, you're going to be either meeting a new person that could be helping put you on the right path um, or you could be meeting someone that, you know, could be, I don't know what this is exactly, but there's something about money and finances that's very heavily on your mind regarding what you want in your life and your spirit guides are trying to promise you that there is another person or another opportunity coming your way regarding that. It doesn't have to just be this person. Um, but this relationship is going to be one where there is going to be a lot of pain. There is going to be a lot of disappointments, but this is going to be bringing you growth. Um, this is supposed to help you learn some very hard lessons, but it's used for your wisdom on what to do and what not to do going forward. I think this is going to be teaching you discernment as well as boundaries with how you interact with people in your future. There's something about how this person was meant to be in your life to kind of help teach you um, how to... I'm thinking this is also how to unlearn some of the things that you're doing as well. Um, also money, I don't know why I keep channeling money. Money is so important to you and I, I don't know why that is. It's like either money or security or stability. That's a really big lesson that you're also learning about when it comes to this connection. Um, maybe you put a really big emphasis on money and security and that could be something that you're learning about through this connection. Um, yeah, I don't really know what else to say, Pile 3. I'm just, that's what I'm really getting for you is this is what's going to be happening. Okay, so you need to keep an eye out. But again, you have free will. So you can choose to do whatever you want with this connection or with your life. But that is what I have for you. So I know this was a hard one to hear, but I hope that it was still helpful. And I will see all of you in the next one. Bye.